So Yelena has prepared this brief presentation for us. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm very sorry I couldn't be there in person during Open Access Week, but this is uh, the next best, best thing, I guess. Um, I'd say as teachers, we naturally tend towards open access just because we want to share our knowledge. Um, in my personal work, I think um, I sort of consider access along two lines. One is through releasing my work as freely as possible, and the second one is through the efforts on reproducible research, and I'll tell you a little bit about both of those. Um, so the goal is really to teach as many people as possible to share ideas, you know, perhaps this is idealistic, but it's something that uh, feels worthwhile to many of us. So the standard thing we do, most of us do, is really to share our papers and work on, on our personal websites, and even there has been some effort over the past few years, even with journals that are uh, for-profit, that will allow researchers to post their versions of the published work on their personal websites. Uh, code and so on. Um, I have also done a number of uh, Wolfram demonstrations. These are Mathematica interactive demonstrations that you publish through Wolfram. You can download their uh, free CDF player, uh, computable document format player, and these are great for illustrating various concepts in the things you teach. And I think perhaps the most important one for me is my work on textbooks. So I have one published textbook in 1995 with Prentice Hall, and then the second one that's coming out this fall with the Cambridge University Press, and the third one that's coming also with Cambridge University Press next year. So um, with the, the one from 1995, my co-author and I, uh, at some point, bought the copyright back. We have been uh, sort of releasing errata for this book for many years, and then at some point it felt like it would be really nice if we could manage the book. We were not in it for money, so we might as well sort of release it to the world. So we bought the copyright book back, and uh, we have put the book uh, for free, open access. It just has a sort of a standard uh, Creative Commons protection. Uh, on our website, on the book website, and so this way we are really able to update it with you know any bugs or typos and so on that comes along. I have also then decided to publish the book through CreateSpace. I don't know if you're aware of it, um, and it, it's uh, linked with Amazon, so then you can publish it on CreateSpace and on Amazon. It's done at expense, so basically I don't get any money from it except for you know rounding cents and so on. But what this allows people to buy a bound copy of the book with a nice cover for basically you know the, the price of printing the book. So I think uh, I forget I had to uh, set the prices differently for the U.S. market and for the U.K. market, and I believe it's thirteen dollars, and that's you know five hundred page book. Um, uh, besides this experience, um, and sort of informed by this experience, when we went for the new contract with Cambridge University Press, first of all, we signed the contract very late. And why we were doing this, because these two books, the current one and the one next year, have been in the works for the past 10 years, and we have been updating them and um, sort of uh, working on them uh, for a long time. And we have been actually releasing for free almost every six months sort of releases of these books. Um, for instructors, if anybody would contact us and tell us, look, I'm teaching this, and we have some sort of reasonable proof that this person is an instructor, we would release also a full set of solutions and any other teaching material we have. So we have made a deal actually with Cambridge University Press that even once published, the books will be available for free on our website, and except that these books will not have a PDF hyperlinks, and they will not have exercises. But this is still some 800 plus uh, um, page text. So apart from these two little sort of restrictions that makes it a little hard to navigate, harder to navigate through the book, it's still an open access book and available for free. Um, so I think that's, that's very important to us because they, we want this to be widespread. The second, um, the second sort of line of uh, open access has been through 
my efforts in the society and, and sort of in my community along the lines of what we call reproducible research. Um, the idea being that the scientific product is not only the paper that goes out and gets published, but all the data, the code, the specific uh, block diagrams, parameters, schemes, whatever else is needed to reproduce this work exactly. And so um, here at CMU, for example, my students um, are required every time they submit a journal paper to create this reproducible research page, which is then released to the world sort of if the paper, if and when the paper gets published. And the uh, journal paper we wrote on reproducible research with Patrick Vandeval and Martin Vetterlis was one of the uh, top downloads on, on IEEE Explore, clearly showing that people have uh, a huge interest in, in these types of ideas. So again, I am very sorry I could not be there in person, um, so I cannot answer questions live but I will be um, happy to answer any via email or um, if you want to meet, my email is Yelena K, that's J-E-L-E-N-A-K at cmu.edu. Thank you.